Driftwood, logs, snags, branches, and stumps. At the beach, it's barriers for folks to clear, cross, and collect. Richard Nevels is a driftwood beachcomber. You can see that the beauty is just barely, barely under the surface. And this black stuff on top just comes right off. Rich is a man who knows what he's looking for. The indicators are here, and the indicators being these wrinkles. Little cones, so to speak, sticking out. That's the end of the bird's eye. He's identifying a certain kind of character in a certain kind of wood. So I'm looking for weird wood is a good way of putting it. I'm looking for weird, weird wood. Juniper, alder, cedar, maple, willow, and madrona are his desired weird woods. But is it his wood to take? What is legal and what is not legal? If you can carry it, that's legal. That's not legal. Okay, so why does he even do this? All right, let's go. Richard Nevels is an artist. He uses this wood as his inspiration. At his workshop and studio, he's got his collected supply of driftwood dried and ready. His sawing, sanding, and waxing bring out all the beauty he first saw on the beach. Beautiful, silky finish to it. The art boxes are more than just one piece. They're box, within box, within box. This, for instance. Rich has been doing this for a long time. I was 12 years old, and I was crazy about it already. 42 years of collecting, shaping, and selling these unique art pieces. Rich is currently showing at the Dragonfire Art Gallery in Cannon Beach, Oregon. The marriage of the polished wood with the natural. Owner Eva Lantella mostly shows the works of local artists. Perfectly done. They're all lined on the bottom. Many different types of wood and they all started out as driftwood that we walk by every day that we think is nothing. Did you smell this stuff? Did you smell the juniper? Mm. Oh, it's knockout. This is the stuff they use in cedar chests. A career of bringing out drifted wood's beauty. And it elevates that piece of wood that grew for all those years, not knowing it was going to end up on somebody's coffee table. At Indian Beach near Cannon Beach, Oregon, I'm Stephen Redland, KGW News.